The following amazing story was published by a David Campbell on a site known as ViewZone. It was a report regarding an incredible find within Oklahoma, subsequently traced out by David and his wife on location. Although the story gained very little media attention, the details, along with the photographs of the event, we have found extremely interesting, especially when we took into account our previous research regarding the strange ancient anomaly known as Waffle Rock. I half-buried suspected fragment of a once-in-a-larger object of possible alien origins, which has remained half-buried, resting where it struck the earth all those years prior now submerged underwater as the result of a controversial reservoir project which swallowed the stone and the town which had built up around it. David recalled the event with his wife on the side. They had just returned from a weekly 600-mile distribution route to find a somewhat urgent message from a reader in Colbert, Oklahoma. The caller gave some extremely vague instructions on getting to the place, no names and no callback details. Intrigued by the story, they figured the worst that could happen was that they would have a nice Sunday in the mountains. After getting to the vague location given, and after several hours of searching the woods, they eventually came across an extremely peculiar, looking, possibly Cyclopean wall. Their initial investigations have baffled them. They had never seen ancient stone structured in such a way. They highly suspected that it was of artificial origin, due to the small apparent stones tightly interlocking, which made up its structure. It wasn't until they climbed atop that they must have realized the true scale of their discovery. From the other side, the stones appear to be a highly complex arrangement of interlocking different mineral or metallic compounds. Often displaying a honeycomb structure, the layers of, with a result of highly accurate cast layers stacked together to make interlocking blocks of iron like stone. He recalled on the side, quote, What I saw there began to seep into my brain like ice water. Jumbled about and haphazard fashion were acres of squared, dressed, and nudged stones. It was eerie standing on those shattered ramparts with all those tumbled stones like a desecrated cemetery. End quote. Were these strange fragments, possibly once a single and very large object? They clearly share similarities with Waffle Rock, which is located in West Virginia. Are both these anomalous items connected? Were they once part of a very old and now semi-fossilized alien craft? What David has discovered may be another piece of the proposal regarding the Waffle Rock mystery. Often cases of strange rocks made up of strange metals are attributed to furnace activity. It I hope more investigation into this clearly huge and perplexing side is undertaken. How could this strange object possibly have come to be arresting, broken into fragments within an Oklahoma for us? Another strange object made from a similar anomalous mineral, metallic-like material, is the ancient Baltic Sea Anomaly. Are both of these strange artifacts ancient spaceships? More details regarding David and Sue's curious discovery is clearly needed. We will keep you posted. So in a small place once known as Mineral County in West Virginia, rest a very special rock. Known as Waffle Rock, it is a huge piece of something very ancient lodged in the ground where it must have been struck many thousands of years earlier, no longer visible to the public due to it being several meters below the water level of a dam built in the area, which forced the residents of Mineral County away forever. After a petition by many of the locals, two pieces of waffle rock were faithfully preserved for future study. One stayed relatively local to the area, while the other is preserved within the Smithsonian Institute. Dr. Jeffrey Epstein of the U.S. Geological Survey said, quote, Four sets of joints are apparent in the Waffle Rock. Just what kind of made Waffle Rock clearly remains a mystery, and any hypothesis that links it of possibly having been part of a larger, artificial crab quickly shouted down his absurd. The truth is, no one really knows what Waffle Rock is, but such hostility directed towards any extraterrestrial possibilities is something we always find interesting. Waffle Rock appears to have a metallic grating which runs through some of its form. Interestingly, a case we cover in another video regarding another less mention, find of a very similar, strange, suspected rock formation was found nearby. Where these fragments once pieces of an ancient spacecraft? We find it highly suspicious that the powers that we chose to submerge such a curious thing, subsequently hiding it from the world.
We previously covered an intriguing discovery made within a forest in Oklahoma, discovered by David Candle and his wife while following up on a curious lead. This discovery, as previously discussed, is a compelling link to Waffle Rock, another anomalous relic we've previously covered. Embedded in the dirt where it struck the ground, many years prior, numerous specialists have postulated that it could be a fragment of an artificial craft which disintegrated in the sky. What was astonishing regarding David's discovery was the similar structure of the object, which they discover also partially buried and scattered amongst the woods. Possibly the density of this once enormous craft created using an intricate layering design of unknown metals, minerals, and alloys. Although further studies of this compelling discovery have yet to be established, it is with understandable caution that those with knowledge of the areas move forward. It must be noted that Waffle Rock, once a local landmark, had attracted a flurry of attention from geologists, scientists, and economists who had begun to ponder its unique and otherworldly characteristics. That was until the United States government moved in and submerged the artifact under several meters of water. The entire town, which had built up around this ancient objects, were forced out to make way for rough reservoir, which flooded the entire area. We have therefore undoubtedly being compelled to research further regarding David's amazing discovery. Also, due to our extensive understanding of the studies undertaken upon Waffle Rock of this site, similarities with that. And then, surprisingly, we've not been disappointed with what's been on Earth. It seems folks have been fully aware of the unusual, quote, mineral deposits within the Oklahoma area for quite some time. It seems possible that the entire area is an ancient crash site of a once enormous alien craft, known as the Oklahoma Mystery Stones. Could these unexplainable fragments have once been part of an ancient spaceship? Found throughout Oklahoma, they are often mistaken for a man-made objects, this clearly being due to the artificial appearance. And Oklahoma is not the only place we feel that could indeed be fragments of an ancient alien craft which crashed here on Earth. The founder of Mystery History gained access to detailed sonographic imagery showing the bottom of the Baltic Sea, late last year. And now, due to the findings which were chased up by mainstream media outlets in early January, several other independent investigators surrounding Ocean Axe's discovery of a right of the same suspicions, we strongly feel due to our research that the Baltic Sea anomaly is but a fragment of a much larger crash area which covers the seabed. Could these two objects have been part of the same ancient event? It seems while trying to solve one mystery surrounding these anomalies, you will often be confronted with several more. As always, thanks for watching. Mystery History Thanks you for your continued support in our quest to expose the lies and misconceptions within modern and old world history.